just wanted to thank everybody for joining me for another video. Today, we're going to be looking at a certified powertrain rebuild on an 836H. This is a landfill compactor. <clears throat> this machine's primary job is to compress trash in a landfill. So, the one thing about landfills is everything is based on how much material they can fit in a given space. So this machine uses these type of wheels to just use its weight and it has a blade out front when it's finally ready for work. This one does not. But as you can see, there's the cylinder that raises and lowers the blade. And this machine just compresses the trash and spreads the trash. This is based off of a 988 wheel loader is a similar machine to compare the size of this machine to. So as you can see, everything has really heavy guarding on it. This is a bar to strip trash off of the wheels as they come around. The fuel cell is up here. So the certified powertrain rebuild gets the engine transmission, torque converter, axles, but customers can add or subtract off of that as much as they want. So this machine, there's the backup camera right there. This machine it got quite a bit of work done to it. It almost looks like a rebuilt machine. A certified rebuild for Caterpillar has certain list of parts that get replaced. The certified powertrain rebuild, you can add or subtract and modify the dealer rebuild as much as you want. So that's where that that's where the difference of those are. So as you can see over here, we'll look at this. So these plates right here tell the story. The machine was first rebuilt at 14,293 hours in 2016. Now, it has came in for another powertrain rebuild, 25,869 hours in February. So, as you can see, that first plate has some battle scars, and we leave it on the machine, and then here's the new plate for when this rebuild is finished. And there's the fuel cap right there, you can see. New hoses, we'll go up and take a look in the cab. See, no, no rubber hanging steps on these. Everything is heavy. This big guard back here to keep stuff from getting up there in the radiator. sits in this machine as you can see they have this black piece here that keeps the engine bay separated from the cooling package so not as much heat gets to the cooling package and here's the fire suppression system there's the air intake there's the muffler there's the fire suppression system fire suppression on these landfill machines is very important because can you imagine a landfill catching on fire there's the HVAC unit right there on top so it's as far out of debris as it can get there's the fresh air intake for the cab Some duct comes down I mean the cab's been completely redone filter restriction indicator there's the recirculation filter for the cab new seat here's your 
your steering. As you can see, no steering wheel. It's steered just like the big wheel loaders with this stick steering right here. This is the safety mechanism. So you can only activate it when that's forward. gets me these big heavy guards here on the front of the windshields because those wheels will throw material up here and break this front window so they came out with this guard that wraps around on both sides there's an overhead of the fuel tank this one's got some pretty interesting lights on it I like those LED lights the filter for the fresh air intake and it looks like it has a special pre-cleaner for the engine air exhaust these machines live a pretty rough life filter there's an ether aid starting aid right there there's the engine ECM there's a little access cleaning door for the cooling system right there air to air after coolers for the engine some of the other coolers for the power or for the hydraulics i think the engine has a powertrain cooler on the side of it thanks everybody for walking around this machine with me Catch you guys and girls in another video next week.